Hello and welcome, I'm Impact Frames and in this video I'm going to show you how to use Lambda to uh, basically make instances and run text generation web UI. You can use this same method to run Stable Diffusion or any other repo out there. And what you can do is basically come in here, this is your dashboard and you have the instances. In here you launch an instance. But before that, you also have the storage. If you want to create, this is a free thing that they give you like a permanent storage. It's, each instance has like an ephemeral storage. And I'm gonna show you, I'm here running two instances right now. And in here we have an A10 with running this Ubabuga thing. And it's preparing a data set for me for training later on. I'm gonna train also here in Lambda and let me know if you want to see how to train a model and basically here is creating my data set is putting everything on a csv and this thing is must have more you can see that we have a jupyter lab here we can open terminals we can use python use a notebook a jupyter notebook we can control the kernels, the terminals that we have open and kill them or do whatever we need. And as you can see here, I have my also my instance of Ubabuga running in the Gradio. Okay, so to do that, you can also come here in the demos. We have demos where you can, you can find demos with everything pre-installed. If you don't need to run extra things like I have or because this one, for example, come with uh, Pygmalion 7B and this is by Kamenduru. I think he has another one with, with Guanaco. And you can even come here and the blocks and get the 65 GPTQ and run an instance on Lambda for trying 65B if you don't have to, two 1490s or two 1390s in your machine to run it. So as you can see, I have two instances and I told you that we have a storage that they give you that you can create a file system. Uh, by the way, I have in this machine, I have this one attached because they are in the same region. These are two different regions. If the machine is not, uh, the storage is not in the same region as the graphic card, it won't work. It need to be in the same because this is in California. I cannot attach my thing, but because I am just creating CSV files and not moving big files, it doesn't matter that much. But if you are training, try to get it in the same thing so you can move your big files into your permanent storage. And uh, as I can see here, you have also these uh, SSH keys. And this is to control your uh, instance from your computer. So you can add, generate one here, key three, maybe, and create. And now it's downloaded into your computer and you can move it into your, into your local home directory. Here I have key pen. That's the, that's the same key that is storage here. And you don't need you you can share this with anyone because then they, they can take control over your uh, virtual machine okay nice so i explained all of that already if you want i will explain you how to get into your machine too so let's get that out of the way first if you want to get into that machine you just have to come in here run your Linux stuff, copy this, oh. right, so let's say that you want to enter in this thing, you probably need to come in here and do demo. Ok, 
Okay, now that makes this file accessible and now we can do copy the thing that we had. And do I and what else it will be that key. We put on And now you access to the Lambda Labs and then you can run commands from here, from your Linux uh, local uh, thing. You can run commands into the instance that I'm running. So I'm gonna launch another instance. Is this 60 cents an hour, don't attach the file. Let's do key. I agree to the above, you are not uh, mining cryptocurrency. Okay, they, they are spinning the instance and it takes a while to run. So now it's running. Let's see. Okay, so now it's starting the Cloudflare thing. We wait a little bit longer. And if not, we're just going to reset that Cloudflare from our, from our command line. We can just uh, um, copy that. Okay, it's coming. So you don't need to do it. Awesome, so we have our Jupyter Lab here spinning and as you can see we can launch notebooks, we can launch a Python console or we can also launch terminal, markdown, text files, get the help contextual uh, thing and let's go into the terminal. And in here we are going to do widget and go into Ubabuga, copy this link and paste it here. So we got the Linux one clip installer. We put it in here. Awesome. Now we have the zip file in our root folder and now we can do unzip. And I think it's called uva buga. Let's see. Oh no, Uba Buga Linux. Okay, and that's it's unzipped this whole these files. And now we can do CD. And we need to give permission to this star Linux CH. And now we can run that. We can come in here and say start. And what it's doing is installing uh, Ubabuga in this machine. And we select A for NVIDIA. And now you have all the power of Ubabuga text generation web UI in here. You will be installing everything. And we just have to wait a little bit. Okay, so it finished and now you have it here in the root in the 7860. You will be launching there, but we don't want it in there. So we're gonna kill shoot down all. And we are going to go into this thing, into a text generation, actually into this web UI pie. And we're going to edit this. I'm going to edit the flags. So you can put here share. So it's hyphen hyphen share or whatever. And save the thing. And in here we're just gonna start this. And open that link. And we are going into the blog. We're gonna copy this mold. 
maybe we can even copy other modes that maybe we like a better uh, result. But I just want to use this Wizard LM 13B 1.1 Super Hot AKs GPTQ, whatever. see how fast it goes downloading that mode and I am going to copy these flags from my installation and I'm going to copy them here You can see it's downloaded now. Maybe we can go back into Xlama and put this in 1496. And this one has to be twice because it's 1 by 2048. Save settings, and now that setting will be in our machine. thing we need to do is control D. Okay, it doesn't let us kill it this way, so we are going into this thing and shut that out. Before we started, we are going into the characters and we are going to upload my character. that character here you can also come in here and pop one character like this whatever but I'm gonna do it from see I'm coming here and upload it like that too my precepts is that one now you can see it's uploaded that in here. And for this I'm just gonna put my script. Create the data set. That's what I'm doing here. Awesome, so now we are here in the thing and we can run, we don't have any terminal, we can come in this and open a terminal again and start Linux SH. And you can see that it didn't load super buga, so what we can do is go into Linux thing command because I need to go into a command Linux SH first. So let's start it here and do again. Okay, and that put us in the environment for this thing, and then we can move into uh, C. 
Then we can move into extensions, super booga. Yes, and now we are in the extension super booga and we can do pip install dash r and we wanna install the requirements. And with that, you will have the all these things installed. And the next time you run Ubabuga, you can use Superbuga too. So right now, if we do Control D, coming here and or maybe we need to stop it in this way. Nice. We can even stop this one. Cool. We can come into Linux stuff, open an another terminal here, and then run start Linux SH once more. And I will run Superbuga too. So it's installing everything. It says here is the post hoc. And we wait until so it gave us our text generation command. Yeah, so we have it here. And now you can come into here into file input, load, select something from your machine, fix, artist, load key. And it's done. We load the, the thing on the super bug. You can choose parameters, preset, and also select the character. Cool. Okay. You don't need to do it because we are going to use the script from yeah, you can move again into the CMD thing if you want to use the Python from the Ubabuga installation, but uh, this instance comes with the Python for Python 3.8. Right, I wrote it wrong. Awesome, so it's starting and it should give me like a a JSON file here in a minute, right, cool. Okay, so now you can see here it's running the the thing is doing the the API request with my script. Okay, so this is how you leverage the cloud computing to make your data sets. I am making like a in instruction input output alpaca alpaca template for my training. There are many different kinds of training that you can use. This is not the best for chat uh, and this is like an instruction one shot. Okay, awesome. So we are reaching the end of the video. This was how to spin a Lambda Lab cloud computing to make your uh, data sets. 